All right, folks, here we go. Another neat piece right here up in the block. This is Gambit from Toy Biz. Now, this is not the Marvel Legends. This was previous to the Marvel Legends. Uh, before that, I believe Toy Biz even had some DC licenses. Uh, so this is one of their very early figures. I'm going to throw the size marker here just so you get an idea. It's roughly the same size, perhaps a little bit smaller. So what do you got on him? He ends up being almost a six inch figure. It's tough because he's a skinny guy and he's wearing a trench coat. We'll toss him over here so you can see the back. We'll get some photos for the catalog and then I'll walk you through. Pretty neat piece right here. He comes with his staff. You can't expect a whole lot from these early figures. Uh, obviously since 19, I'm going to say 96, 93. It's about 93. We've got almost 20 years of toy technology, but even for that time, these are incredible. So I'll walk you through them real quick. The card itself, I'll show you the, uh, the light shining off of it here. Pretty nice. A little bit of shelf wear, as you might expect. The card is tight, no uh, dents or crush on that. Slight bend of the card. I don't know what this is. Looks like possibly a, a price sticker. Maybe the consigner uh, attempted to remove it. And a little bit of the back here. You got some dinging on the back in here. The card itself has some slight warping to it, a little bit of bend. That happens, especially with a 20-year-old card. But all overall, a really neat figure um, right here. And, of course, Gambit. Uh, always popular, has been popular ever since he was released. He would have been through the roof <laughs> right when this was released. He was brand new, uh, but he's maintained his uh, popularity even since. Been attempts to make a movie, and who knows when that happens. The value of this, you'll find out. You can check this out at thebigtoyauction.com. Head on over there. You see all the photos. You leave your pre-bids uh, and all the other items that we've got available for you. The Uncanny X-Men Toy Biz Gambit. Here we go. Here is a figure you just don't see anymore. Kalun, if I'm pronouncing that at all correctly. Um, as I said, you just don't see him. He doesn't appear really in the comics anymore. He's fallen out of favor, kind of like uh, after the cartoon, there was what, Morg, I believe his name was. Uh, there was a Spiral, who kind of had these swords too. You just don't see too many of those anymore, and that happens. Figures uh, fall in and out of favor throughout the X-Men universe. Let's toss this uh, size marker here just so you see it. It's close to the Marvel Legends size of a few years later. Um, these were previous to Marvel Legends, which is now made by Hasbro, but at the time it was Toy Biz doing those, as well as just a few other lines. They were uh, fairly limited in what they were producing. And just look at... This snapshot of history, 93, you got Random, you got, uh, well, Apocalypse is back, he's doing stuff. Strong Guy, does anybody remember Strong Guy anymore? Sauron is an actual figure. Pretty cool stuff right there. This is a nice little uh, uh, throwback figure to 93, back when, uh, right when Image was kind of kind of in its infancy, kicking off. We'll show you the bubble is nice and clear. Can you see right through to the uh, to the other side? So it's pretty clear, no yellowing after a little bit. You know what? I'm 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 gonna revise that. You can see through, but I can see a little bit more clouding than perhaps you can. Uh, it's pretty tight on the card. A little bit of looks like it's just about ready to pop up right at the edges. So be aware of that. Card is looking pretty good. No major. Uh, tears or anything like that and it keeps catching me right here so it's not yet a crack but it looks like it's about to that will eventually left unchecked this will eventually start to crack through so be aware of that make sure you store this properly in good heat and humidity conditions if that's what you like it for if not crack them open use them put them in your uh, dioramas uh, do some old school stuff this is x-men from marvel comics toy biz Alun. All right, here we go. There's another one you just don't see too often. I'll throw a size marker for you right there so you can see the size. Next up on the block, we have Senyaka from the X-Men. He is one of the evil mutants in his ninja... Uh, mask there with his giant whip if nothing else this is worth the price of admission to put these with some of your uh, marvel legends figures licensed by marvel comics and early toy biz long before 
uh, not long, long before, but before Marvel Legends. We'll flip them over, we'll get some photos of the back, and then we'll talk about them a little bit. So, as you can see, the card is starting to begin yellowing process. He still displays really, really well, real nice like this, but one of those things, I certainly uh, I wouldn't send this guy in to get graded, anything like that. He is yellow across there, still tight on the on the card. Just beginning to come up a little bit, a little bit. I don't know if you can see that right there. But uh, still on that card, the card itself has some bending. I'll let the light play off of it so you can see any other areas of interest, damage, etc. Push it along right like that, and then we'll show you the front as well. So overall, a really nice figure, a rare one that you're not going to find anymore, I doubt. You'll get this as a uh, Marvel Legends. Watch somebody will comment. Let me know that there's 35 of them <laughs> as Marvel Legends. Uh, but overall, a piece that you just don't see too often. He doesn't really appear in the movies. Uh, but you never know with the movies. Deadpool movies especially. Characters pop in there that you never thought were going to be there. Uh, and when that happens, maybe this, all of a sudden, the, the interest for this character goes through the roof. You never know. In any event, X-Men Evil Mutants. This is... Senyaka from Toy Biz. Hey, look at what we got on the block for you today. This is uh, from Uncanny X-Men. This is from Toy Biz. Evil Mutants card. And it is Omega Red. Um, comes and goes in terms of popularity sometimes. Back in the 90s, this guy was... was all the rage. Now you don't hear from him too, too often, but he does appear uh, from time to time, and who knows, maybe he'll show up in some of the movies. I'll put a size marker here just so you can see him, uh, so you get an idea. It's a little bit smaller than a lot of the Marvel Legends. This was predates the Marvel Legends, but it works perfectly fine with them. What I like about this is, I don't know if you can see it, but he's got his whips kind of in his hands there. That's a, that's a unique feature that you just don't see too often. This explains a little bit more, so it's a little bit like the double telescoping, uh, double, double, oof, can't talk today, double telescoping uh, figures from Star Wars. While we're here, I'll show you the, the light shining on the back of this so you can see any nooks and crannies, any uh, tears, dings, gouges, t rips, etc. And then we'll do the same on the front. I want to do point out here, at first when I saw this, I thought it might have been a recard. I thought somebody might have taken this out, uh, recarded it. It's not... It looks like some parts of it. It looks like the bubble. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pull on it here. I don't want to damage it further. Uh, but it looks like the bubble has started to be uh, removed. Started to come up. I don't 